What's up guys, we're here back again with another video related to the Rise of Skywalker trailer that literally just released. I'm trying to get these videos out as fast as I can because I'm so freaking excited for this movie. But today we're going to be briefly talking about this Resistance fleet. Now, if you remember at the end of the Battle of Crate in The Last Jedi, there was basically the Resistance was screwed. There was no fleet coming to help them. You heard several cries for help on behalf of the Resistance calling to their Outer Rim allies. And of course, that kind of left them in a tough pickle. Now, obviously, if Luke hadn't 1v1 Kylo, you can make the argument that the Resistance would be no more but what's most important is that at the end of the last jedi the entire resistance that we saw was shrinked down to a number that could fit on the falcon now of course the falcon's a big ship but when you're talking about something like the resistance the formidable um group going against the first order it's hard to imagine that a group that fit on the falcon can go up against the first order now with the new trail that just released we have a really gorgeous beautiful shot of what looks to be a giant rebellion armada arguably is probably one of the largest ones we've seen in star wars before most likely much much bigger than the one on scarif or maybe even as big as the one or even bigger than the rebellion fleet that went up against the death star 2 in episode 6 but today i'm bringing this video because personally i'm very confused because like i said at the end of the last jedi there was no one helping them the allies were nowhere to be found now in the trailer we're seeing this massive massive beautiful might i add resistance fleet so where the heck did this come from now personally i only really see one viable option now this is going to be taking into account and assuming the fact that this whole battle that's supposedly going to happen between the imperial star destroyers and this rebellion fleet is true it's going to be assuming that there is no like dream sequence assuming this is all true what i can only gather is that there are more allies in the outer rim for lack of a better way to put it now personally much as i'd like to see the rebellion and the resistance you know go hand in hand and fight up against the first order um I, it's really hard for me to believe because in the last movie we left off assuming the fact that there were barely any allies now if you also remember there was a scene at the end of last jedi where i think there was like a boy in the stable and he uh he had some force powers so so now what that meant to me is that there are more allies and there are more people now i know there's a lot of time that's supposed to have elapsed between the end of episode eight and then episode nine so what i'm thinking is that this fleet is just a gathering of other rebellion troops and masses throughout the outer rim to me that's a little bit weird because the last movie made us think otherwise but i really don't know want to see what you guys think about this in my opinion i do think this whole resistance fleet just came from uh over time accumulating more forces to go up against the first order or the imperials whatever whoever we're fighting now in episode nine but regardless i'm super excited if you guys haven't checked out my other videos including my reaction go ahead and check that out top link down below in the description thank you all so much for watching if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like the video to stay up to date with all the content coming soon i'll see you guys later take it easy peace